the son that's standing behind their chair, the father will pull out the chair for the wife, the son will pull out the chair for the daughter to illustrate being a gentleman and being treated like a gentleman. He would sit down, he would put his hand on the head of each child and bless them, and then he would lead them as they ate. So that means the television is off, the, the computer is off, uh, the kids are not in the room, they're at the table. Uh, as often as you can do that, and I know that varies different on you know, the kind of job you have, but this is praying. Now one of the things I tried to do, as often as I could, would be, I took the kids to school when uh, we were growing up, and even though we were starting the church, I was the main one to take them to school. And before they got out the car, I prayed with them. And at night, as often as I could, I would pray with the kids. Do not let it be said, my mother prayed with me. Don't, don't let it be said, my mother prayed with me. I mean, it's okay to say that, but that shouldn't be the main thing that's being said. The main thing should be, my dad prayed with me. Right. So you pray with your kids and you let them know that, that you're trying to leave a spiritual legacy. So you want a plan, you want to pray over that plan, and you want to bring through prayer and therefore spiritual leadership your presence to be the dominant influence in, in the house. So uh, and it's okay to steal, what I know I mean. On Sunday I prepare a sermon, steal it. And use it. Review what, what, what was being preached and taught. Review what your kids learned in Sunday school. I mean, and in children's church or youth church. In other words, make it a conversation so that it is clear, just through a conversation, that you are spiritually um, uh, attuned and you prioritize the spiritual. Okay? So you have a plan, you pray. Next, I want you to partner. Now, what do I mean by partner? <laughs> Hang out with some other legacy thinking guys. Right. Find some guys in a small group, in a couple's group, uh, but in the church to partner with who are thinking legacy. If you hang out with fools, you will become one. Okay? If you hang out with guys who have no vision, I you know, uh, I went home for my brother's funeral uh, a couple of months ago, and uh, I saw some of those old guys who came to the funeral uh, who are still stuck in that same place that I left. They're still stuck there. And, and, and they're so used to being there, they don't even know how not to be there. Hang out with folk who are trying to go where you're trying to get. So I call that a partnership. Find somebody else who's making a legacy plan. Share the plan with one another. What's your plan? What's my plan? What do we want to see happen with your kids? What do you want to see happen with your career? What do you want to see happen with your uh, 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 spiritual direction? What's a, uh, get some partners. Get, get some folk, you know, if you're going to play ball, hang out with folk who know how to catch. You know, hang out with folk who, who, can, who can 